Hey guys, this is Mario from shockingfit.com and in this video, I'm gonna talk about the hardest thing I had to do on my uh, fitness journey. So this is something that I feel like every one of us will have to eventually reach. And what I'm specifically talking about is just recently Omar Yusuf posted a video uh, why he started lifting. I'm going to leave a link to that video below in the description so you can check that out. His channel is really, really cool. He's a super cool guy. So in his video, he also talked about how he started, uh, what his journey was, and how he had to go through all different kinds of struggles. And in the comments, I commented on that video, and one of the guys said um, uh, that mindset of like me not competing with others, but competing with myself. And one guy was actually uh, commenting there. He said that he has massive issues with that and he can't stop comparing himself with his friends, uh, with how they perform in the gym, with how stronger they are, their genetics. They just keep progressing better than him. And he's asked, he asked me, okay, so how, how do I free myself from that, right? Th that uh, trap, that prison imprisonment of feeling like everybody else is making progress more than me right everybody else is progressing more than me and and I need to switch from that me versus them mindset to like me versus me and uh, this is the hardest thing I feel like I had to do on the journeys is actually stop comparing my own progress with progress of someone else and in fitness, it's extremely difficult to do this. I mean, um, the problem is, uh, the first problem is like, let's say I open up my social media, uh, now my news feed on Facebook is completely blocked, but uh, let's say before that, that happened, um, even now on Instagram, I'm just scrolling down, you see these perfect bodies, right? You see people with like amazing genetics, you see people with, with absolutely incredible looking bodies and, and, and lives in general, like traveling, having fun and doing all these cool things. And um, it just makes you question like, okay, hey, how, how can, how the fuck do I get there, right? What, what are these, I mean, I'm never gonna be as good as these people. And I'm never gonna get there. My genetics are not as good. Like I, I, it takes me 10 times longer than actually to build muscle than someone else. And the problem is there is that First off, you're comparing your reality to someone else's fantasy, right? And that's something I want to say here in, I mean, in this video is that social media and in general, it's a little bit about creating an illusion, right? And if you, if you look at all the top fitness models or top fitness guys, I mean, they won't go out and post a fucking photo or like a video, but they have a pimple on their forehead, right? It's going to be a perfectly uh, composed photograph of every single moment that is put to place and edited and distilled into being the exact type of photo that is going to make you jealous, right? And the whole point is not to make you jealous, but the whole illusion that is being created that there's like a perfect physique and it's 24-7, 365 days a year and nonstop being shredded 6%. Uh, with nothing else but being nonstop in the gym and eating perfect and being that this perfect human being is actually what um, I struggled with for a very long time to overcome because I was constantly comparing my own world, which is just the real fucking world, right, with that fantasy world that someone else has been building on social media. And this is very common. And I mean, at least on my uh, Facebook profile, it's like, I mean, I'm like so many of these uh, fitness mold pages, and that's kind of my whole world. And, uh, and it, it's the problem because you're continually shifting instead of like me versus me, like being the better version of yourself, you're shifting in that like, hey, how can I be better than uh, someone else there. How can I be better than this guy? So this guy's been lifting for two years, I've been lifting for four years, and he looks better than me, right? And then you start to question yourself, and you lose that self-trust, right? You don't trust yourself enough, and it makes you feel very bad, and makes you feel very depressed as well, because you're like, I mean, you're competing with something that you can never achieve. And um, it took me close to like three, four years to actually get out of that mindset, and to really start looking at Look, it's it's me versus me. And uh, one cool uh, scene that I just watched the movie uh, Creed. I don't know if you guys uh, watched that. So it's the it's the main character in the movie is the son of Apollo Creed from Rocky Balboa from that movie. And then Rocky is training him uh, to get him to like um, fight the champion in in some category in boxing, right? And um, even in the trailer, I think they included the scene where 
Rocky takes the, takes the kid and puts him in front of a mirror, and he he tells him something in lines of like, "Hey, that that person you see there is your toughest opponent, right? In, in this sport, and but also in life, right? So you yourself." are your toughest opponent and that is the absolute truth right i mean the the best fitness model in the world the one that's mostly he's not gonna do your reps for you dude like and that's something i mean <laughs> you have to do your own reps and that's something that that i always kind of think about when i've uh, compared myself with someone else i mean that someone else is not gonna come to the fucking gym and do my reps for me right and even if they could they couldn't do that so it is me right it is me and it is my limitation and it is what i have to do there's nobody else that can actually help me with that and it's always going to be you versus you there there's nobody else there and i would just uh, I, I guess i decided to make this video just to kind of uh put out that it, it's about that self-trust that you will eventually reach a point where you, you i mean you will uh, just compare yourself with yourself. And I know it's a little bit hard, and this is not just for fitness and health, this is also for all the other areas of your life. Like, someone will always have a better car, right? Someone will always have better genetics. Someone will always have, I don't know, bigger biceps and these kind of things. But is that something you can really control, right? I mean, is that something that you can influence? The only thing you can actually influence is your own reps. The only thing you can actually influence is your own habits, your own actions. That's something you can change. As Albert Einstein says, like, once we accept our limitations, then we can go beyond them. So it's about accepting those limitations, right? You need to accept that you can't change that, right? You can't change your genetics, not yet. I mean, probably not in our lifestyle, uh, life span. Maybe uh, we could actually do that in like a couple of hundred years. You just flip your fingers, hey, I want to be jacked, uh, six six feet two, uh, 250 pounds of muscle, six percent body fat if you want to be, and, and these kind of things. Maybe one day we can genetically engineer ourselves to lose weight and be ripped all year round, but right now it's all about putting the damn reps, and that is something you can control. So, I mean, this mindset m m helped me a lot. I mean, just accepting the fact, okay, here are things I can control, here are things I can't control, let me focus on this, because this here is, is a prison, right? I'm always going to be a slave to what that person is doing. E even though these people might be super cool, like, they're, they're probably like real, everybody's human, right? But that fantasy world that is being created and that I'm comparing myself with, it's always going to keep me in prison. I'm never going to be able to get out of that, right? I'm never going to be able to actually progress if I'm thinking, hey, how can I be better than that? How can I be better than that person? How can I do more than him? How can I lift more and, and do more? And eventually, I mean, the only way to free yourself is really to accept that and start working and taking action and trying to be better than you were yesterday and doing the best you can. Like, ultimately... The best you can do is the best you can do. Like, there's nothing else. There's, there's no way to judge yourself or anybody else to judge you if you're really putting in that 100% effort. That's when you'll be happy. That's when you can maintain that integrity with yourself. And that's uh, at a point that I feel like everybody should eventually reach. So, yeah, hope you uh, guys uh, like my little rant here. Uh, it's a little, a little concept, a little mindset uh, battle that I had for a, quite a while. And if you experience something similar, leave it in the comments below uh, how you overcame this. And if you find this video helpful, click subscribe below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.